Hello to y'all. This time it is a stay alongside. Well, before we the modified Proctor Confection test today. But before we get started, let's get to know the equipment we're going to use today. So let's see the equipment we're going to use today. Let's start with the balance set. We have two different balance sets with different precision, of course. The one with the precision of 0.01 gram and the other one with the precision of 0.1. And we have steel edge here. We have our air dry soil sample. And we have plastic squeeze bottle filled with distilled water. Exactly. We have our moisture cans, as you can see. We have jack here. We have the sieve number four. And we have this stunt, a modified proctor compaction hammer. Exactly. And we have the compaction mold, as you can see. And that's it for now. So the first step is to take about 4.5 kilogram of air dry sample. So we have to find the exact measurements. But something we shouldn't forget is to break the loss after we obtain about 4.5 kilograms. So the next step is to pass the soil through the sieve, as you could see. So after passing the whole soil sample through the sieve, we have to add about 5% water and of course mix it to obtain a uniform sample. So next we determine the weight of the proctor mold with its base plate of course, but not the extension. It is 5,688.5.5 So the next step would be to attach the extension to the top of the mold as you could see and we have to pour the moist soil into the mold in five layers Something to notice is that the difference between the standard proctor compaction test and the modified proctor compaction test is that in the standard one we pour it in three layers but in the modified proctor compaction test we fill it in five layers. Also the hammers are different and the molds of course. Now the next step, using the hammer, we try to compact our sample by, 25, by using it 25 times. And after the 25 times, of course, we have to add a layer of soil. We have to do this five times. As you could see, we add another layer. And as mentioned before, we compact it for 25 more, 25 more times. And this has to be repeated in three more steps. So on the next step, we remove the top attachment from the mold, as you could see. And using a straight edge, we trim the excess soil above the mold. So on the next step, we determine its mass, which will be 5,909 5, grams. grams. Now on the next step, using the jack, we extrude the compacted soil. As you can see. Uh, 
So on the next step, we determine the mass of empty moisture can. It is 62.70. Which is 62.17. 17. 17. Yes. Grams. So from the moist sample extruded previously, you place it on the moisture can as you could see and determine its mass. Which would be it is 207.25 grams. So on the next step, we place the soy sample inside the oven and wait for about 24 hours for it to obtain a constant weight. So after removing the moisture can from the oven, after it obtained a constant weight, of course, we measure its weight, which is... It is uh, 201.55. 201.55 grams. So after doing all the measurements by using the following formulas, we finished the experiment. Thank you for your attention. We will be back with the final experiments.